Hello students, welcome to Eternal AC Education. In this session, we are going to learn Chapter 1, Introduction to Computers. Content of this video is Generations of Computer. Among that, we are going to learn 4th generation, 5th generation and 6th generation. So, based on various stages of development, computer is having 6 generations. So, in the previous video, you have learned up to 1st, 2nd and 3rd. So, in this video, you are going to learn 4th, 5th and 6th generations. This is an example for portable IBM PC of 4th generation. So, in the 4th generation, the period of the year is 1971 to 1980. The component used is microprocessor are called as VLSI, very large scale integrated circuits. VLSI. Then smaller and faster. Microcomputer series such as IBM and Apple were developed. Portable computers were introduced. So this is IBM portable computer in 4th generation period. This is also a 4th generation computer. And this is Apple 4th generation machine. So in the 5th generation till date, that means we are in the 5th generation. It starts from the year 1980. The component used in the 5th generation is ULSI, Ultra Large Scale Integration, simply ULSI. So this component is used in the 5th generation. What are the merits and demerits of 5th generation are parallel processing, superconductors and compute, I will explain what is parallel processing and superconductors computer size was drastically reduced can recognize image introduction of artificial intelligence and expert system able to solve able to solve high complex problems including decision making and logical reasoning so these are the merits of fifth generation so what is parallel processing? Instead of processing each instruction sequentially, a, a parallel processing system provides concurrent data processing to increase the execution time. In this system, it may have two or more ALUs and you should be able to execute two or more instruction at the same time. As CPU is having ALU so this ALU is important for the logical logic uh, arithmetic logic unit that means it is executing the instructions so if a system is having more ALU means it is able to process the uh, given instruction concurrently that is parallel processing so the purpose of parallel processing is to be speed up the computer processing capacity capability and increase its throughput so what is parallel processing system may have two or more ALUs so ALU is important for the execution so as it is having more ALUs it is able to execute the instruction concurrently that is parallel processing superconductors Superconductors is any material that can conduct electricity with no resistance. It's an important and developing thing. So if the resistance is low, what does resistance mean? If uh, it's a part of physics, so I don't want to confuse you with the physics, but the gist of the thing is a superconductor is any material. For example, if it is a copper wire, we know current can pass through the copper wire. 
because it can able to transmit the electrons uh, if you are not very clear with this concept means kindly ask your physics teacher but the thing this is the base for this superconductor is any material that can conduct electricity with no resistance means while the electrons pass through it will not resist what will happen if it if uh, it does not resist means the energy flow will be high so the if the flow is high means it can be used for a, a speeding purpose or the um, energy flow is 100 percentage it will not lose anything through the uh, if the current is passing through from uh, left to right or through one distance using the superconductor the energy will not be lost so it is very useful for many of the things this technology also used in computer for superconducting computing process it's a big uh, big and innovating and improving technology simply have an idea superconductor is a material it can pass electricity without uh, resistance so the power will be more it will not lose the power so if the technology is used in computing means that is why we are building that uh, motherboard inside the cpu if this technology can be applied and it also it can be applied in many of the machine related communication things information communication telecommunication in many of the places this device is uh, trying to utilize but the cost of the preparation is very more so it is used only for a, a complex or critical thing so the, it is a technology that is going to be implemented or trying to implement in the motherboard of a cpu but it is not only used in cpu but it is uh, used in many of the place apart from computer then artificial intelligence artificial intelligence sometimes called machine intelligence is the intelligence demonstrated by machines unlike the natural intelligence displayed by the humans and animals just like our sense we'll say we'll have our intelligence based on our iq level same thing can be given by a machine that is said to be artificial intelligence this is the picture of a robot sophia which is a um, best robot which is having even a citizenship so we are in the fifth generation able to create a robot which can observe the question and give the answer based on the question you might have seen many of the uh, films just like a walking robot so they are doing that film based on this concept next one is the sixth generation the sixth generation is not yet completed that means it may come or it in process so what is that parallel and distributed computing computers have become i'll explain this computers have become smarter faster and smaller yes smarter faster than fifth generation and also smaller than fifth generation development of robots natural language processing nlp and development of voice recognition software so still we are having some of the things voice recognition recognition software also still here but even though they are not yet reached the level what they expect that means what the scientist expects so they are in process and in research for the development so sixth generation distributed computing and parallel computing what is first of all i'll explain parallel computing parallel computing means a computer is having more than one process and able to work the process at the same time as parallel computing distributed computing means different computers in different locations but able to communicate among themselves that is distributed computing 
so the sixth generation motto or aim is to collaborate both a particular computer is able to do parallel computing as well as distributed computing is a challenge to achieve then natural language processing natural language processing usually shorten as nlp is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with the interaction between computers and humans using natural language that means they are trying to make the machine understand our own language if we are talking to your system using tamil it should answer if we are talking through english also it should answer so they are trying to uh, give answer as per the voice or as per the speak of the human it's still in process but somewhat they have achieved ultimate objective of nlp is to read decipher understand and make sense of a human languages in a manner that is valuable they are trying to make a person who is next to us as a robot if you are talking with a friend he can easily answer he or she can easily answer to what we are asking they can recognize our emotions like that they are trying to have a robot it's in research yes they are trying to talk with the computer that means the robot development of robots they are trying to develop robots to do many work development of voice recognition software so if we talk the system or the software will recognize our voice and give the answer still we are having siri and many of the things which is able to answer our question but still they are doing some research to develop it more so we have seen fourth generation microprocessor that is very large scale integrator circuit then fifth generation ultra large scale integration sixth generation it's in process it it's not in a end then fourth generation it is smaller and faster and microcomputers then portable computers these things are introduced in the fourth generation category in fifth generation that is what we are using it's having parallel processing superconductors facility size was reduced able to recognize the image artificial intelligence are used in sixth generation they are trying to combine the parallel and distributed computing and they want to make it smarter faster and smaller than the fifth generation and trying to develop the robots and they want to develop the natural language processing that means the machine has to understand our human language and they want to develop more software to recognize the voice so these are the generations it's a five mark question you can easily answer this question and learn just have the tabular column generation so it's easy you know 1 to 6 then periods so you have to know 940 then 1956 and 1964 1971 1980 so if you remember the five years you can easily understand the duration or the period of the generation then the devices vacuum tube transistors integrated circuits very large scale integrated circuits and ulsc ultra large scale integration then here it's only future no components are given then you should remember the example computer names in a particular generation it is having only up to third generation in fourth fifth sixth there are no the there is no example models are given so it will be easy for you to learn and write that's all for this session thank you have a good day